Hola, ¿qué tal? Y bienvenidos a mi canal. That's a, a welcome from Spain. Today I'm talking about the energies that are coming and what we have to be aware of. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So I was asking the emissaries about where we are, what energies are coming, uh, and the energies are kind of bizarre at the moment. What they said is that we're in what they would call a holding pattern at the moment. There's a lot going on, but nothing major. But they said, major's coming. And it's kind of like we're in this holding pattern waiting for this big thing to happen, whatever that is don't know what it is. Or big things, let's say that. And I said, big thing good or big thing bad? And they said both. They said, because it doesn't matter. Every action is a reaction. Every action has a pushback. And they said, but understand that the baddies are working jolly hard to, to create this difficult time. They said, we're in a period of, of expose period of revelation, a period of time where things are coming to the surface, where things are being visible. And they made me think about, you know, the recent thing with Mr. T and that he's been convicted on 34 charges, all of them, every single one he was guilty. And so there are loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of people commenting on that commentary, people who were, who were who know about the law and things like that saying, this is the most bizarre thing ever. It's ridiculous, it's mad. You know, it's mad what they've done. Uh, what's interesting is that through that, every time that they do something to him, his numbers go up, his support goes up. And I think after the, the, the I saw something on, on Twitter, after the sentence, well, they haven't sentenced them, but the, the verdict, of guilty on all charges. Uh, he received 34 million in donations for his campaign. Okay, <laughs> like, so it's no matter how hard the push against this in him, it he seems to kind of, it makes him, puts him in a better place. And then they're talking about maybe they're gonna be able to put him in jail or who knows, whatever. But it's not stopping him from running for president, which is interesting, isn't it? So. They made me think about that and, and like how bizarre that is. And what they said is that we're moving into a ludicrous period. And I don't know how you feel, but you know, it was, it was mad. It was bad, it was mad, it was sad. But now it is ludicrous. It's, it's almost like a, a pantomime in the true sense of the word pantomime when we used to go to a pandemime at Christmas, and they still have them, I suppose, but they were just ridiculous. You know, the story was, was totally unbelievable, and it was just a farce. A farce, I think, as well. I went to see a farce in the Lake District in a, in a little amateur dramatics place. It was fantastic. I loved it. I love farces, but it's a farce. And so the, the emissary said, we're living in these times where it's going to become more and more ludicrous. And I said, why? Why is it becoming ludicrous? And they said, well, it's not for you. It's not for you guys who are already awake. But they said, you can't wake somebody up with a gentle shake. You can't wake people up by stroking them gently on the face. You can, but it takes a long time. But these people who are deeply asleep, the only way that you can wake them up. And then they put this little expression in my mind. Now it's a Spanish expression. Hey, we started with a bit of Spanish. And it's that they said, these people need una hostia bien dada. Okay? Now, una hostia is a good slapping, a good hit. And bien dada is, is given goodly. Yeah? That's what's got to happen to wake people up. They can't wake up with normality or isn't that curious? Well, isn't that strange? It's got to be isn't that ludicrous? Isn't that mad? That's where. Now I'll tell you about something that happened. So the other day I had a conversation for my other channel, Spanish channel with my mother-in-law 
and I got her to talk about politics. Now, would you believe that lots of people worry about talking about politics? They don't want to. However, my mother-in-law launched into it and talked about them being all a bunch of shites and corrupt and all of them the same and they're not interested in the people. Just what you would understand to be the truth. The comments that her video got, nobody has said, eh, no, you're not right. Everybody is ex on the same page. Exactly. None of them are any good here in the US, here in the UK, blah, blah, blah. Right? Now, normally our audience for the Spanish uh, channel are of a certain age and of a certain bracket where they're not really up to speed with those things. And yet, oh, they're all absolutely in agreement. You know, now, isn't that interesting that people are starting to see politics for what it is? It's a, they're making a mockery of us. They are laughing at us. And people know that. And so it's become ludicrous. That's what's going to wake people up. Remember, they've got, just got to wake up for one thing. Wake up to one thing and the rest of it falls like a big row of dominoes. And so prepare yourself. The emissary said, it's going to get rough. And you know what's interesting? I've heard that. I've heard that from a lot of different places. It's going to get rough, right? Loads of people are talking about it. But every person that I've heard say it's going to get rough are always coming from a positive place. It's going to get rough because it's got to get rough. But there's room for hope. We can remain hopeful. It's got to get rough. Remember when, you know, when everything collapses, it's got to be tough, isn't it? And I'm going to leave you with a message that I got from the Jesus Energy. Just about that. I said to them, what message would you like me to share? And they said, we just want everybody to know that we are here we are here for them but we want everybody to anchor themselves right now they used the word anchor and then they showed me a boat and they showed me a boat on high sea rough seas storm and the person on the boat was tied to the mast can you remember they used to do that you would tie yourself to the mast because in a storm and then there's no chance of being thrown off the boat. That's what they said that we've got to do. We've got to anchor ourselves very solidly in our beliefs, in our faith, okay? Because it's going to get rough, they said. But they said, don't worry, the boat won't capsize. It's going to get rough, anchor yourself and we'll get through the storm. And they said that, the, these were their words, we're here. They said, some people feel alone. Some people actually are alone. And they said, understand that you're never alone. There is lots of help. We are here to help. And they said, all that you need to do is call out to us. Call out for help and we will help. We will be there. And we will help you to make your way through this storm, to brace the storm. Okay? So call out to them. Tell them what you want. Well, just say you want some help. That's it. They know what help you need. You don't need to specify it. I want help with this, this, and this. And just say, oh, please help me. And they'll come. And they'll give you a big cuddle. And you'll feel much better. I love you all. And I'll speak to you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>